Good morning, church. First, I want to give honor to God. And I would like to give honor to my spiritual parents, Dr. Andre Thomas and Prophetess Nina. So yesterday we had um, a hike for the youth. And I went on this hike. I was expecting rock climbing and all this stuff, but we were going through bush. And those who know me know that I'm really, really afraid of creepy crawlies, melopees, and anything smaller than me, which is weird, but I'm afraid of them. But there were carpets of melopees. These melopees were fat. These melopees were long. They were in huge clusters, like just wrapped up in each other. And it, it, it kind of freaked me out. I started to cry. Like if somebody said there was a death in the family, I broke down, I had panic attacks. I started quoting scripture by chapter and verse. I, I don't know, I, I crumbled. By the end of the hike, I was able to step over without thinking it was going to grab me or eat me or kill me because even to go under the there is like logs you had to go under this tree and the tree was like literally covered in malapies and nobody else didn't see any malapies but obviously I could see them but by the end of the hike I was able to see them and step over got home and I was like okay fine I could but I went to pray before I go to bed and as I closed my eyes I was seeing malapies I am trying to pray and I am seeing melopies. And I remembered Dr. Thomas's word on the, the Prince of Darkness regarding fear. And I heard the Holy Spirit ask me, say to me, fear is an open door to the enemy. Are you going to let him in? And it triggered something in me. I also remembered Prophetess Nina saying to us as watchmen, you pray with your eyes open, not just naturally, but pray with your eyes open. So I got up and I started to pray against this prince. I slept like a baby and I also had a divine encounter. But I say all of that to encourage you. When prophet gives a word up here, go back and listen to it. Let it marinate in your spirit. As both of them teach us, marinate the teachings. When prophetess teach, when prophet teaches, let it marinate in your spirit because you never know when you may need to pull on that residue to get you through an encounter. Good morning, everybody. Um, I want to give honor to God. Thank you, God, that I can stand here. I want to give honor to Prophetess Nina Thomas and Dr. Andre Thomas. Um, this testimony is about the first Cornelius prayer day. I sent in a request to pray for my application to be accepted to get into UE. And I had two dreams as well after that prayer request about me getting in. So I had to work some faith. So today, actually last week, I am officially, I am officially a student at UVK Hill University. So I want to encourage everybody to, to tap in and to connect. Prayer works and faith works with the works, with the faith. So, yeah, thank you. Um, good morning, church. I first want to honor my Heavenly Father and thank Him for His protection, mercy, and grace. I also want to honor my spiritual leaders, Dr. Nina and Dr. Andre Thomas. Um, this is basically a synopsis of what I'm going to share with you. Many of you would have followed the nation news this week concerning a shooting that had occurred with a 12-year-old child. Well, what I come to share is that that shooting occurred adjacent to my home. And if you are familiar with a housing unit, you know there are houses that are conjoined. So if something happens to one house, we would feel the impact. And we were directly, we, we live next door, which is directly next to that house. And what I come to share, besides God's mercy and grace to that child um, losing their life, they're still here today. The house next to that, because it was a house in the middle, received some bullets inside, but no one was injured. But what I want to place emphasis on this morning is that 
Those bullets did not penetrate my vehicle that I used to work. We received no bullets to the home. And what I want to add to this is that my mom usually sit on the outside and hang out with the same neighbors, usually every night. And that particular night, the neighbor had asked me to ask my mom to come out. And she said, well, not feeling it tonight, a bit tired. And when the police came over to check, a bullet was lodged in the exact area where my mom sit. So I just want to give God grace and mercy. And I just want to implore any of you under the sound of my voice to connect to the grace on this house. We have a collective group of people that are dedicating to praying called the Epaphras. And I believe apart from my prayers that it was the prayers of those Epaphras, those group of people that cover us as members, cover us as a church that has also covered me. And I'm truly, truly thankful for the grace and prayers of this church. Thank you.